It's Tracy and Noel. They're gonna make you LOL on 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk. Hello and welcome to 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk. This is episode 240. I'm your host, comedian Tracy Carnazzo, joined by my co-host, comedian Noel Winters Herzog. Wow, her radio voice. From the New York Comedy Festival. That's us. We have announced the show. We're doing Trash Talk Live, which is a general trash talk in the New York Comedy Festival. We have been hand-selected to perform Mm -hmm. the New York Comedy Festival November 11th in New York City at 4 p.m. at Caveat. The ticket link is in the bio of all of my social media, all of Noelle's social media, all of the stuff everywhere. Go, go, go. TracyCarnazzo.com. I just want to say... If you want to go alone, don't be afraid to go alone. Oh, yeah. Listen, here's the thing. You can't talk during our show. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. go alone. Also, yeah, like, it doesn't matter. We're all going to hang out. So it's not Yeah, it's not like you're really matter. going alone. And there are other people who want to go alone. Post about it in the group. Maybe somebody else wants to you go. You guys can all sit together. To alone. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Just go. Just come. It's going to yeah, be fun. Don't be, don't be ridiculous. We'll do something afterwards, too. Yeah. Obvioso. We'll have a soda. We'll have a little soda. I'm going to probably have a water. Okay. I am I think I'll have a soda. Maybe. Yeah. Let's see how I feel. Maybe Let's I'll take a sip. I don't know. You came to my house and you drank a full can of soda. Forget it. I one was time, flying off the walls. And I was like thinking like, who is this? What is going to happen? I have to watch the show. I had a headache. I was so uh-huh. hungry. Uh-huh. It was like there was a million things. And I was like, maybe I'll have some soda. And yeah. it's like I instantly regretted it. I had to go to rehab. <laughs> uh-huh. I checked myself in and (laughs) and I said, I just had one Coke. (laughs) (laughs) Cute. Thanks. You rhymed. I I am. I'm a rapper. Um, Patreon.com slash trash talk podcast is where you could find 90 day fiance. The other way, our other podcast, uh, so pumped a Flander Pump Rules podcast mm-hmm. podcast and, podcast and uh, BS our favorite podcast ever. So go over there. Patreon.com slash trash talk podcast. It's right down there in the show notes. Let's go ahead with the show. Let's go ahead. Let's go on with the show. I remember this from something. Muppets, maybe? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. There's no yeah, way to know. know. Guys, there's no way to know. Before the 90 Days, season six, episode 15. Mm-hmm. We're going to jump. It's almost in- done. It is almost done. We're going to jump in the pool with Amanda and Rosvan. Ugh. Okay. I know. Ew. Ew. Let's say that. Ew. Such a, you know what? what? That starts with a C and ends at a T. See you next uh-huh. Tuesday. Uh-huh. Oh, Ooh, I like it. The a little how's your mother? <laughs> a little how's your mother? All right. Uh-huh. So she, they're in Croatia. They're having a beach day with her, their family. Croatia's beautiful. Right. right? I didn't know that. I did know that. I had a friend who was Croatian and he kept telling me how beautiful it was. <laughs> yeah, but I know, but everybody says this about like their home country. It's like mm, I, don't I know Google to believe that. So um Something that I do a lot is I like to go on Google Earth and I like to travel. I love to travel on Google Earth. And I went to Croatia once. I traveled to my grandfather's house last night on Google oh, Earth. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. oh, it was pretty cool. Um, mm-hmm. All right. So they're having a beach day with the family. She's right. She's throwing herself at him. She's all over him now. She's cleaning his ears with her tongue. She's cleaning his ears. She's licking his neck. Yeah. She's grooming him. Yeah. Basically, she's he's a little kitten. She's the mama kitten. Why is she doing this? Because he doesn't. Uh-huh. He's not obsessed with her now. Yes. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. So they order for the whole family one pizza. No, two pizzas. Oh, I thought he ordered one pizza. Well, then his Fabian ordered a margarita. Oh, OK. Yeah. No, a margarita, not a margarita pizza. No, a mar- he's like 10. He ordered a margarita pizza. Two pizzas came out. Are you sure? Yeah, I promise. I watched. I thought he ordered an actual margarita. No, he's a little kid. They ordered a margarita he? pizza. Yeah. Yeah. He seems like an adult to me. This is why I don't have children. I'm this like, he's seven. He should get this a job. This is why you don't bartend. <laughs> I'm like, seems like seems, seems like a good idea. Yeah. Jeez. So she gets French fries because she's vegan. Is she vegan? Isn't she like vegan? Isn't that why he has to take her to these stupid? Places? I don't think so. I know. I think she's very uh workout oriented dempsey's the vegan oh i thought she was vegan I yeah. Don't know. Well, yeah she's very workout oriented with french that's fries. what it is i know i know but that's the thing i think she's like i don't eat processed food i only okay. eat organic it reminds me of somebody else that i know hmm, interesting. i'm not gonna name any names okay don't definitely don't okay so his mom and amanda like each other they're getting along well 
why i would not like amanda bad vibes red okay. flag amanda but here's the thing all yeah. she knows right now is that he likes her that's it yeah really yeah that's true he likes her they had lunch with her she asked about the ex-wife she said how great her kids are like she doesn't yeah. know a lot about her and then also, his did you notice he ordered she ordered a mojito and he got two energy drinks <laughs> That's what he Oh, no, ordered. I didn't see that. Oh, he wow. ordered two energy drinks. Yeah, it's like, no wonder you're hell? crying nonstop. Yeah, you want two Red Bull? Two monsters? Okay, I did a show recently. Uh-huh. And one of the guys on the show down three Red Bulls right before he got on stage. And Is then he alive? He was... <laughs> I mean, I was like, what are you doing? Just do cocaine. Wow. I mean, at that point, just do the, do the drug you were trying to make it. Yeah. Yes. Three Red Bulls is cocaine. That's insane. <clears throat> That's kidney failure. Yeah. And then he's like, I don't know. I'm just like so restless. I don't know. I'm just like so nervous. I'm just like, I'm like, you. What? Yeah, of course you're so nervous. I was like, eat a muffin. Relax. My brother-in-law Drink- loves five hour energies. He drinks them They're all the time. Oh, so bad. I know. It's like for someone who has to meal prep, work out every day, do all this shit, you chug these things in your car. Mm-hmm. So, he takes like shots of fire. Oh, and energy. then like he throws them in the back seat. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. It's That's so very funny. funny. <laughs> um, okay, so his mom wraps his head up very, very... Um, like, it looks it, cool. It, no, it does look cool. But here's the thing. Yeah. If I had a bald head and I was afraid of sunburn. Yeah. First of all, I think I would put some sunscreen on. Uh-huh. Second of all, you think I want a whole blanket on my head? I know. I see that wouldn't bother me. I guess that would very much bother you. Yeah, it really, really bothers you, me. Guys think things very weird. The other day, real quick, Matt mm-hmm. is like, "I know it's a thousand degrees outside. I want to get my body going. You have to take a walk with me." So he made me go for a walk with him. He's like, "But well, we're gonna wear hats to keep the sun off of our face," and I'm like. Well, that wasn't a good idea because now I'm pouring sweat off of my yeah, head. I've never sweat this much in my whole life. So we get home and I'm like, what's with these hats? He's like, it kept you cooler because the sun was off your face. And he's like, and it'll absorb the sweat. Uh? And I'm like, well, now I wish I was dead. Thank you so much for that. This is why guys like to cover their heads in the heat. Gross. Mm-hmm. They're mm-hmm. so stupid. Mm-hmm. And my stomach already hurts today. This is why I don't uh-huh. like men. Yeah. <laughs> This is one of the reasons. Uh Okay, so um, he talks to his mom separately. Right. And And she's mean to me. (laughs) He's like, she's really mean to me. She switches it up. She's really moody. Sometimes Uh she's nice to me. And then she's a terrible, terrible, you know what? Right. And now his mom is upset. Obvioso. I mean, I guess I don't know if I'd tell my mom if I didn't want my mom to dislike her. This is why. Yeah, but he doesn't like her. But he doesn't like her. It's yeah, not I think that he, he likes her. No, no, it's not that he doesn't like her. He knows that this is a bad idea. Of so course. He, he's trying to make his mom held, hold him accountable. That I understand. Okay, so now they leave mm-hmm. and they're going to go on a date night. They're going to play pool. He hails a cab mm-hmm. and they go play pool. And she mm-hmm. asks him about the chat he had with his mom. Right. And he's like, oh, yeah, no, I told her that you're a nasty. Right. Right. And that we fight all the time. And now she's like, oh, yeah? You want to see nasty? Yep. Now she's mad. I'll show you nasty. She says the most toxic thing ever. And she's like, you know, when you're in a relationship Mm -hmm. and you involve other people, Mm -hmm. you know, that's a problem. And it's like every abusive man in the world that wants to isolate his wife or girlfriend says this not to involve other people. I was told Mm -hmm. all the time. Mm-hmm. That I was not allowed to discuss anything that happened between us with anyone. Yeah, but that's what I mean. This is like real. Yep. This is what adults tell their kids that they're abusing. Like, this is terrible. Yep. Yes. Okay. So, Razvan, now they're home. He goes live from home. This is an Airbnb, has a- right? This isn't. Okay. No, I, I don't know. I think this might be a furnished apartment, too, though. Right. She's she has mad. on Dracula makeup. She, she looks crazy. <laughs> She's really <laughs> mad. Yeah. Why is she like this? She's mad that he's going live. She's mad that he's alive. So mm-hmm. she has two days left there. And she goes, quote, when I leave, do you think we're going to be like engaged? I wasn't even allowed to come to America. I was so excited that I got my visa and I'm not allowed to go to America. Now we have to get engaged. You don't. You, you told okay. you had your period for 35 of the days you were here. <laughs> 
<laughs> until I did not show interest in you. Right. And then your period disappeared. Right. And then you baby birded me out by the pool. <laughs> what the hell? You chewed the margarita pizza and you yeah. spit it in my mouth. Yum. She said that she ended the part of her life with Jason. Because oh. it was open when you got here. It was very so much last happening. night. Right. When you went to sleep, you decided that you don't care anymore. Right. I it this is the cr- how do people watch this and they're like, I have to tell you, I see people on Instagram and Reddit and they're like, I hate Ross Vaughn. And it's like, you hate Ross Vaughn? Mm-hmm. What? Yeah, very weird. Who very, knew very that weird. he would turn out to be the genuine nice guy on this whole show? Listen, I definitely think that he wants to come to America and it was part of the motivation to talk to her. Yeah, but I actually think he likes her. No, I do too. But I also think that like, you know, the person that she presented herself to be, he was like, okay, fine. I'll just marry totally her. I'll different. get to America. But yeah, I think there was a little bit of motivation on his part. So I can't say he's 100% innocent, but she is being mean to him for no he reason. He is pretty innocent. I mean, you're making this guy cry a lot. Right. You know, I feel bad for him. I feel bad for him too. But you know what? What? This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Maybe he should seek out some BetterHelp. Noel. This is a real, real question. Yeah. Okay. Has there ever been a time in your life where racing thoughts were keeping you up at night, waking you up early or preventing you from able, being able to enjoy your life? I have to tell you six out of seven nights a week. <laughs> I would say eight out of seven nights a week. Yeah. For me. Uh huh. Especially between five and eight in the morning. Oh, five <laughs> and eight in the morning. It's like party time. Prime time. I should get I a job. Well to Pasha. <laughs> I should get a job between five and eight in the morning. Yeah, we should get a job at like the bagel store. We should get a job at like like building the railroad. Yeah. Uh-huh. Agreed. I think that we could definitely do that. Um, do you ever find that just as you're trying to fall asleep, your brain suddenly won't stop talking? Like, do your thoughts start racing right before bed or other opportune moments? Hell yeah, I do. It turns out one great way to make those racing thoughts go away is to talk them through. Therapy gives you a place to do that so you can get out of your negative thought cycles and find some mental and emotional peace. Love it's that. super helpful. Therapy is super helpful for learning positive coping mm-hmm. skills and how to set boundaries. It empowers you to be the best version of yourself. And it isn't just for those who have experienced major trauma. If you are thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist. You could switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. I love that. I've done that. (laughs) Get a break from your thoughts with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash fiance today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash fiance. All right. Do it. Let's talk about Gino and Jasmine. Oh, God. Gino and Jasmine. So here's the thing. At this point. Yeah. Yeah. They should definitely get married. No, they should. It's like you guys deserve each other all the way. He is. He has proven himself to be just as off the wall as she is. Yes, I think they're yeah. actually a perfect match. I do. And you know what? The, in some weird matrix, they love each other. He's going to the apartment alone because Jasmine broke up with him. Where is she? On the bench. You know what still. I mean? So he's yeah. going home and she shows up immediately to talk. So yeah, what do you of mean? Of course she does. It, well, you know, when she, I know so many girls like this, she's breaking up with him. It's over. And you know, she's going to chase him five minutes later. Right. So she said that she loves him and she cries mm-hmm. and she brings him the ring, the ring that she said she lost. You knew she didn't lose that ring. Of course not. Yeah. She asked him to stand up. Mm-hmm. She gets on her knees crying. Yeah. And then mm-hmm. she begs him to repropose to her while she's begs on her him. knees. Uh-huh. Well, she kind of reproposes to him in a way. Sort of. Okay. So now this is not even a ring box. This box is the box that I used to get pins from church uh-huh. in. Really? Yes. I have a million of them in my room, probably. Uh-huh. Probably. I would get like my lector pin. I would get like my cantor pin. I, I would get that. like like these weird award pins in them yeah okay. this is not a real ring box so it's like i don't right. know where you bought this ring but this is not real <laughs> well we know where he bought it and it wasn't at the jewelry store he proposes mm-hmm. and she said that she will change and they will celebrate now okay but she's gonna change how many times has she said this 150 but i think this is good 
You think that this is good? I think it's good. I think that they need to seal it up with marriage uh-huh. because that's what he deserves. Listen, that's what he deserves. That's what she wants. Yeah. Maybe they could figure out a way to make it, make it work. Who knows? But Who like, cares? did everybody forget that he wants a kid and she doesn't? No one cares. Yeah, nobody cares. Mm-hmm. So now Gino's packing to leave and he leaves right. her cash on the on the bed stand. Yeah. The stand. He sent her $1,000 for rent. Isn't her rent $3,000? Yeah, but now they, she has to find another place. But he, they agreed on leasing it for six okay. months. Okay. So I like how she's like, you know what? Meet Gina. We agreed to get a cheaper apartment. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what he told you a long time ago. Right. But now she's like, oh, we're really not together anymore. Now right. I have to say anything. And she's like, but, you know, he's going to sign a six months le- lease for me. So that's good. And it's like, yeah, right. he would have done that last time, too. He said just I need a cheaper apartment. Right. But instead you had to flip out and tell him you wish he was dead. Right. Mm-hmm. So they're crying in the cab on the way to the airport. She's crying. She like- looks nice here. Because she's not so crazy made up. Yeah. She actually looks nice. I know. I just don't know what she's doing here. I don't know. She just wants to be with Gino. I think that she has some weird, crazy ass codependency obsession with him. Right. Yeah. I don't just... think it's fake. You can't really fake that. No, I don't think it's yeah. fake at all. I, yeah. I don't think I've ever thought it was fake. She's but really... She says that since the day she met him, she craved his smell. That's where I'm like, what do you mean exactly? She's like, you smell like TV dinners. Right. Mm, Marie Callender's. <laughs> <laughs> Great. All right. Speaking of uh, TV dinners, let's talk about Riley and Violet. Oh, my God. Violet hates Riley. Let's just say Okay, that. but here's the thing. I don't know yeah. who I don't like more. No, same. Because you know what? At first, I liked her. I don't like her. I don't like her. So she's really angry about the private investigator thing. So he gets peach iced tea with ice cream. Uh-huh. Okay, which is uh, fine. Uh huh. And then she gets orange juice with no sugar, no ice. Do they put right? Ice? Right. What does that mean exactly? He gets salted caramel ice cream. Cool. Sounds delicious. Right. What does it, she mean? Is she getting like Tropicana Zero? I don't. I don't know. No pulp <laughs> with calcium. I don't know. What I is don't this? Know. Well, he's gonna go back home, and he asks if she had fun, and she's like, um, I'm hurt, sad, and angry. I know, but here's the thing. It's his last day. You don't ever have to talk to him again if you don't want. Just But she's pretend. so glad he apologized. Right. And he, this is the nice toxic conversation that they have. Mm-hmm. He's like, we can't throw away everything we've had after two years. Right. And this it's is like all the time. Mm-hmm. So this is the toxic episode, basically. This is the toxic. So yep. they give each other the finger, which means I love you. Oh, God. Give me a break. Get a life. She said that he's been behaving better. Right. I see... Okay, let me just say Riley isn't great, but I understand why Riley is so frustrated and irritated all the time because she sucks. Yeah, she's not clear and she's not nice. She's not clear. Yeah. So they're going to hang out tomorrow before he's leaving. She's going to come help him pack because she has a family obligation so she can't go to the airport. Uh Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have a family obligation and I can't pick up anyone from the airport. But either. that's what I mean. You have all these family obligations. That's crazy. A lot of obligation. Mm-hmm. So they're both so sad. And he said that he doesn't tell anyone that he loves them. She knows that. So he tries to right. tell her and she goes, don't tell me we need time. OK, then I'm like, I would just break up with her. I can't even tell you now. I can't tell you I love you. Right. So she wants him to change. She's not affectionate to him. He's like trying right. to kiss her at the airport. He leaves and he said that maybe they won't ever see each other again. And then on the coming attractions, she's pregnant. She's her ego's prego. Okay, I can't find out anything online. She's I was 43. Looking. Oh, is she? I didn't realize she was. It's 43. like, is this the magic? No, well, magic school bus. <laughs> I'm not saying you can't get pregnant at 43. Uh huh. It ain't that easy to get pregnant at 43. Sure. It's not that easy after because I don't think they hooked up very much. Were they doing in vitro in the hotel room? Because it's so funny. It's like, <laughs> they did didn't he bring, even like each other. Did he it's bring like, a Petri dish and a microscope and a little needle? Maybe. I, I mean, know. what was happening I'm out surprised there? that they. Did, was he retrieving the, her eggs? That's why he was there for so long? That's probably why. <laughs> you had to bring the numbing agents. <laughs> I don't even think you know how eggs are retrieved, but okay. Mm. <laughs> I know a little bit about it because I went to a doctor. But she was she was laying them. Oh yeah, is that how is that what happened? She laid an egg, mm-hmm. and he brought a petri dish. 
Uh-huh. Yada, yada, yada. They're having a baby. <laughs> now they're having a baby. Wow. It's growing. Speaking of a baby growing, let's talk about Statler and Dempsey. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Again, everyone's toxic. <laughs> they're in this castle and they're driving to Edinburgh. And this is the happiest Dempsey has ever been. Oh, they had castle sex. Thank you for reminding us, Statler. Mm-hmm. Nobody cares. So Dempsey's talking about she how she wants to carry a baby. Right. Mm-hmm. She's like, don't you think we'd be great parents? And Statler says, quote, I wouldn't be that great. Hilarious. But I like, okay. See, I don't understand. I think this is like miscommunication because I think they both kind of said to each other, oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Maybe right. we have kids. Maybe. And now sure. it's suddenly like the real answers come out. Right. Yes. It's their last morning in Scotland. Right. In this Scottish castle with a waitress from Applebee's. I know, right? I but the castle looks very cool. Sure, but it's like, where is this waitress from? I don't know. Maybe they sent her. I don't know. They sent her from Applebee's on Flatbush Avenue. Maybe. I mean, she Maybe. has no Scottish accent. Maybe she's an implant. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe she's just a producer. An and implant? Like, uh huh. Like a breast? Uh huh. <laughs> Maybe she's just a <laughs> breast. She's rolled on in from the U.S. Oh God! So Dempsey <laughs> wants kids, and Statler said. Um, kids are a lot of work and money and she doesn't know sure. if she would want to do that. Right. And she goes, would you consider adoption? And Dempsey's like, yeah, I would consider adoption. She's like, well, I wouldn't consider adoption after being adopted. I just, I, I just want to say this yes, and please. I am not, I am not adopted. Not uh, everyone. We don't know that for sure, but yes, it ahead. wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> not everyone's adoption journey is like it's this. traumatic. Yeah, like she clearly needs therapy. She does. Okay. She's struggling with this. But she said that she had she was taken away at two days old and she has trauma from it. Right. It's like, why? Was that a bad day for you? Right. How do you have trauma? Was that rough for you that day? It's so when you had to say goodbye to your mom. Right. <laughs> but like, and I'm listen, I'm not poo pooing her feelings. I'm just sure. saying that I don't think she really understands her own feelings. I don't think so either. And I also feel like, hey, sure. Maybe your parents were not equipped sure. to have a child, but there was a family that wanted you and loved you and right. got you from when you were a baby. Right. It's not Unfortunately, like nobody... your right. family and my family right. had no choice. Right. My parents didn't have me because they wanted me. Your parents didn't have you because they wanted you. They had you because that's what they got. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really? Well, right. And her, it's like, you have to think about it like this. The family that adopted you, your family really wanted you. Right. And listen, I'm not saying that they were great. I don't know really her back story, but she just. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with her. She said that she feels like I there's think that it's a, before she decides on whether or not she has children. This is she should deal with. Yes. This. She said she's not maternal at all. And it's like, well, you could be the dad. Yeah, you don't have to be maternal. You just there's always paternal. one parent that isn't that great. <laughs> Let Dempsey do all this stuff. <laughs> so she said that she feels like there's a missing part of her and she's very triggered. Okay. She's very triggered. She's very triggered. You brought it up. Right. So what are you triggered about? She's like, hey, I just triggered myself. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, so. So can we stop talking about this? Dempsey is like, well, I'm going to have a kid at some point, whether I do it on my own or whatever. I'm going to have a kid. And Statler said she really doesn't want kids. And Dempsey's like, well, good day, sir. And Statler's like, I really don't think it'll work. Right. And it's like, okay, so now everybody, this is just escalating. You were the happiest you ever were. Uh Uh-huh. One minute ago. I have to tell you, I know that it sounds crazy to you, but some people, kids are this important to them. Okay. But if kids were this important to you, why is this happening at the castle? And why you guys were talking on the phone for like seven months. Because neither one of them wanted to tell the truth. Okay. Because they knew that they weren't on the same page. Okay. Well, that's a different story. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about David and Sheila. Oh, okay. Okay. So now they're engaged. Right. They're packing. He said, quote, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I loved the bed and all the sex we had on it. Then describes the things they did. And the thank explosions. You. Thank you. you. Thank you for explaining that. To Thanks us. for I'm never staying in a hotel again. <laughs> but that's what I mean. Thank you for telling us you did it doggy style on the bed. Thank you very much. I don't like hotels the, the color of your face just tells it all i don't like hotels. it's pale mm-hmm. no it's not just that it's also blushed <laughs> oh no that's just because i'm very sunburned oh uh, 
You're, you have so much color. I have a lot of color. I have a you lot of do. different colors. But it has nothing to do with the, the mattress. This is, um, it's just a lot. They like to tell us maybe a little too much. Right. And it's like, Sheila, enough mm-hmm. with the signing. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> just talk to David. Mm-hmm. So they meet with her dad and son and they tell them that they're engaged. Right. And she asks her son if he wants to go to the United States. And she's like, he's like, yeah, I'll go with you. I mean, I'm not busy. Nice crispy Coca Colas everybody was drinking in the glass bottle. <laughs> you love that. Looked delicious. He's like, yeah, I'll make friends, and I like David. He's cool. It's fine. He's like, the yeah. food's delicious, and it's like, what? Okay, when he said the food's good, did you yeah. wonder what he, what he had in mind? Of course, I did. I'm thinking like pizza. I'm like, does he want to go to Joe's Pizza? Because it's not right. great. I know. I've heard it's trash. Go to New Park. <laughs> you have to go to New Park. Go to New Park, kid. Yeah. Yum. All right. So now he's leaving. He tells her that he's mm-hmm. going to come back and also he's going to apply for her visa. But there's like a million things to do. A lawyer, a wedding, a right. house. They want to have five kids. <laughs> Seriously. Noel. Yeah. The scream crying at the airport. OK, Tracy. I'm like, I'm well, like, he's not mute. This. OK, <laughs> that, I was thinking the same thing. I'm it's very like, audible right now. Oh, you do make noise. Tracy looked at me like, I wonder if I should edit that out yeah. or not. But that's not how I meant it. I meant more. I think he hasn't discovered his voice. How's that? Imagine we see him on like American Idol. He's like, Tracy Noel, I discovered my <laughs> voice. <laughs> Thank you for saying that. Sheila and Amy explained to me that you talked about me on the podcast. <laughs> and well, I found um... my voice. Oh, God. Don't make fun, Noel. No, You're I'm so not. Bad. Here's the thing. If anybody's going to make it, this couple is going to make it. I just don't yeah. know how financially this is going to work. Gonna right. And does he have a sponsor for her? Right. Because he's not going to be able to sponsor right. her. So that's I what know. I was wondering, too. I'll sponsor her. I'll sponsor her. I love her so much. I like. Yeah. And I'll what's her dad going to do? Can we take him? I think so. What's he going to do? Do you think he has any? Leaves? OK. Do you think he has any kind of skill because he built that house not a great job by the way (laughs) (laughs) that goes without saying yeah uh uh-huh i'm not saying he could live with me Uh uh-huh i'm just saying maybe i could get him a place nearby and he could help me okay like he could put up your blinds right yeah i don't know i don't know but a live out handyman (laughs) i don't know if i would trust him so much with his handiwork (laughs) I'll tell okay. you what I wouldn't let him do. Your floors? <laughs> Slash <ceilings>. stairs. <laughs> okay. I'm so glad David can't hear. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, <laughs> David, I hope <laughs> I'll be fine. Your voice, David. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. Now I'm turning red. David's going to be singing Tony Braxton on the <laughs> voice. <laughs> he wasn't man enough for me. <laughs> You're like, who would have known it? All right. Please don't give us bad reviews. No, they're going to love it. They're going to be like, let's see how silly these girls are. All right. So let's move on to Cleo and Christian. God, I hate him. I hate him. Yeah. I hate him the most. I like Gino and Jasmine better. Oh, yeah. I don't hate Gino and Jasmine, though, because they're both Looney Tunes. But my problem is Cleo also needs a little better help. Cleo, you need a lot of better help. She needs the best help. Cleo, I want you to feel better about yourself. All right. So they're, they're like, he's like, oh, you know, I have to have a proper English breakfast. And she's like, well, in Italy, we have sweets and cake. And he's like, oh, let's go get donuts. And it's like, well, that's not. That's not it. how that worked. <laughs> so she said that she feels so confident. This is what she says, right? I'm, I mean, mm-hmm. tell me if I'm wrong. Mm-hmm. She feels so confident, but she has doubts and there's a lot of red flags. Yes. But she's so confident. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think you feel oxymoron is what you feel. Well. <laughs> They go to this donut place. Mm-hmm. They get four donuts. Mm-hmm. He inserts his They get a his pink card. fun. Yes. A pink fun, a cinnamon sugar toasted marshmallow. Don't know what the fourth one was. Uh, s'mores, I think. But that's oh, no, what the that's, toasted marshmallow toast- was. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I got to look. Guys, they didn't post show it in us. the group. Post it in the yeah. group. I need a fiance trash talk podcast on Facebook. Yeah. Okay. Pink fun. I heard that. Anyway, <laughs> he inserts his card into the chip reader. Mm-hmm. And he goes, uh huh. I perceive that was cute. I didn't hate that. That would be that would have been. I would have been like, listen, 
you're embarrassed of me. You're doubting your, your, our relationship. You're cheating on me. Whatever. Make that noise again. Oh, see, that wouldn't bother me. See what happens. Make that noise again as you look the donut lady in the eyes. Yeah. Get out of my house. Oh, I don't hate that. He's so annoying. Well, that's the problem. He's so annoying. He has a small neck. I'm just not interested. <laughs> <laughs> he wears a he wears a bracelet as a necklace. Yeah, he wears a child size shirt. <laughs> Get away so from me. She asked if they're going to be exclusive after the trip. And he's like, yeah, of course, we're going to be exclusive. Right. I have no reason not to be. And she tells him that she doesn't like it when he talks to women. And he's like, what? Nothing about me kissing women on the mouth in a bar says I'm interested in them. Because it's so crazy. She's like, I have like, I don't care if you hang out with your female friends. It's the approaching single women in a bar. And he's like, what? That I have problems. Why? He's, he's like, oh, like, what's wrong I feel with like you? I'm getting attacked. Well, it's you like, know what? You should actually get attacked by a bear. Well, but yeah, <laughs> then then I, w- I want you to tell me again how that was attacking. Now, when the bear is clawing your eyes out, tell me more. But then Cleo cries. Yeah, this is not good. Cleo's cries. Cleo's terrified of losing Christian. Mm-mm. What are you terrified of losing, honey? No. No, Cleo, come to America. Come to America. We have a hundred guys we can hook you up with. We have Christian. a million guys to hook you up with, but also mm-hmm. you don't need a guy to hook up with. Just throw him in the garbage. Yeah. Honestly, throw Christian in the garbage. There's no chance that those two are together in my mind. I think the best thing that could happen is the bear attack. The bear attack would work. I like, what was his flight home like? Who was he hitting on on the flight home? Was the just... was the air marshal attacking him on the flight? Right. Who knows? Did he get, did he no get tackled when he got off the plane? I listen. I can't wait to watch the reunion because I saw a little snippet of a commercial mm. and David uh-huh. says that he's been in touch with Amy and Sheila flips out. And I want to know about this. What? Yeah. It's a little teaser. Sheila's like, <laughs> well, now I'm a sign language teacher. Right. So it's like, I need to know what happens <clears throat> here interesting mm-hmm. so I, I they just filmed it so i'm assuming it's going to be on very soon i think we all probably only have one or two episodes of this left before the reunion. tell all yeah i saw that in october a new uh 90 days coming oh wow also in october there's a show coming back it's called catfish oh exciting okay great. yeah I you looked at me like episodes. what's happening no i was hoping it was unexpected Oh my God, that I don't. I really don't know if that's coming back now because it was supposed to come back. It was supposed like to come back in August, times. right? Yeah. yeah, it was also supposed to come back in like May. Well, we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see. All right, guys, thank you so much for listening. TracyCarnazzo.com for all of my upcoming show dates. I have a show coming up, uh, opening for Hannah Burner, formerly of Summer House, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> Buffalo Parks Casino in Pennsylvania. Mm-hmm. Um, we have our amazing show Trash Talk Live coming up November 11th in New York City. Make your plans. Travel here. It's very important. Tickets will sell out. So buy them immediately, if not sooner. Once the tickets sell out, there's literally nothing I could do. We cannot do another show. Like, this is it. This is New yeah, York Comedy Yeah, then it's Festival. over. I'll be opening for Giggly Squad at the Beacon Theater for New York Comedy Festival and also for Adrian Appalucci at the New York Comedy Festival at the Stan Comedy Club and Restaurant. So check out TracyCarnazzo.com for everything coming up. Also, if you're in Jersey, um, I will be at the Stress Factory in New Brunswick on September 26th, I think. TracyCarnazzo.com. Make sure you follow Noelle at Noe Girl on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'm at Trixie Chuzini on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I've been posting clips every single week also, mm-hmm. if you want clips of this podcast and our other podcast, Teen Mom Trash Talk and Catfish Trash Talk is going to be coming back. Trash Talk podcast on TikTok. This podcast is 90 Day Podcast on Instagram and Twitter. Everything's right down there in the show notes. TracyCarnazzo.com. Leave us a five-star rating and an amazing review on whatever platform you listen to us on and tell a friend about it. Just one. Just one friend. We'll see you next week. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs>